to now have a minute silence. of uh, physical strong challenges uh, on previous encounters. Telford have never beaten Wrexham or they've never even picked up a point against uh, Wrexham. Will that change today? Well, we'll find out now. We're underway live here on BBC Radio Shropshire on 96 FM. Telford attacking down the left early on. Picked up in midfield by Kieran sent to me. Jay Cree chasing down the ball back to the Wrexham goalie, uh, Maybe He does well, comes off his line, Wrexham clear the danger. So Telford kicking from our left to right in their white shirts, black shorts and black sock. But Telford have it on this right. It's a decent start. It's goal, it's a late challenge there by Harris, the former Accrington Stanley midfielder. And uh, the broken Vivizela's back here. It's been a long time since we've heard that. It's, uh, it's a fixture which we are getting accustomed to now. <laughs> Yeah, um, that was a late tackle really on, on Phil Trainer. There was no doubt it was a, a free kick, and the referee quite rightly not taking any further action. And uh, well, good good position for a free kick here. Nine minutes gone. Free kick for Telford on this right. Whipped in, left footed by Leslie. Header there towards Reed. Falls to centre me. Shoots, appeals of handball. Set to me again. Still in there. Followed by Reed is saved by Maibi. And Wrexham clear it, but Telford very nearly taking the lead here against Wrexham. Already this game proving to be an exciting one, as it always is between these two. Remember, Telford have never picked up any points against Wrexham in league football. But we still await our first goal of the afternoon here at the Buxet. Strong challenge by John Brown in midfield. Telford are really up to this battle, then Phil Trainer off the ball. The earlier free kick is being given, though. The referee looking to play advantage for uh, Harris's late touch on John Brown, who won the challenge, but then Harris following through. So Telford do indeed get that free kick inside the centre circle. 18 minutes gone, and uh, well, Telford would love to open the scoring here. 
Yeah, Maibi's an interesting character, isn't he? He's one of these goalkeepers, I find, whenever I watch him, you always feel that there might be something about to happen when he's involved. You always feel that there might be a, a howler around the corner. <laughs> It'd be great for Telford's point of view if uh, he could drop one today. He's a, he, what he, he is an excellent shot. Yeah, his, though, his kicking he? leaves a bit to be desired, I think, doesn't it? Valentine chips it in. Dan Preston there, falls to Trainer. Trainer, it's a very tight angle inside the Wrexham penalty area. Away to our right-hand side. Trainer then provides a low cross in. Rose collects it for Telford outside the penalty area. Wrexham sitting deep here. Hubbins running at them. Here's Trainer on the right corner. Feeds in another cross. Jake Reed gets his head onto it, but it glances behind in front of a Wrexham fan. To see a red behind the goal to our right-hand side. Wrexham do have it in possession and now pass it around in their midfield. Neil Aston taking it on. Jordan Rose, the Telford central defender, has to get commit himself forward up to Danny Wright. Yeah! Who sits. It's a terrible mistake by Telford, which all started on the halfway line. They didn't deal with Neil Aston straight away, the midfielders. Then Jordan Rose committed himself. Aston got around him too easily. Fed the ball into the area to Danny Wright, who at the near post has beaten Ryan Young. And really, a Telford keeper shouldn't be beaten from that type of position. And it's Wrexham fans who are doing all the singing. It's Telford nil, Wrexham won. Could uh, do with at least a point today against Wrexham. Other games going on, but Telford have been sucked right into the uh, the uh, relegation fight, haven't they? Their last win going back to the start of October, 4-1 away at Dartford. That seems a long time ago, several months now, since we saw Telford win in the league. They were in the top ten just uh, about seven weeks ago. They've dropped 14 places. Will Salmon takes a free kick and offside again against Dan Preston. And Telford do have the opportunities. For me, Steve, they get caught offside far too many times. For me, it would be pro probably Jones and Reed. I think it would be Jones and Reed at the moment, based on current form, because I think Reed has done exceptionally well since uh, coming back into the side. Telford really struggling a bit with with options, as you say, because a number of the players are doing okay, but just aren't scoring the goals. James Spray has done very well at times. He works very hard, but hasn't got the goals. Kieranson, to me, has gone off the boil like a few players have after an excellent early uh, season form. So uh, yeah, I'd probably. We go with Reed and Jones. A crash down on the halfway line. Andy Sinton, the Telford manager, has got his arms out again, jumping up and down, screaming at the referee on the far side. And now he goes stomping towards the linesman to, uh, to have a few words with him. The fourth official has to come across and calm the Telford manager down. But noticing that there should have been some action taken there. For me, actually, my, my uh, eyes were, were fixed on the halfway line because Reed was fouled by uh, Westwood, the Wrexham defender. But then there was another incident back up towards the Telford penalty area. Yeah, he's absolutely livid, Andy Sinton, at the moment. He's in, he's in, in earnest conversation with the fourth official. He's uh, incandescent over there. Look at him. You can see him. He's pointing. Well, he hasn't uh, calmed down. <laughs> no, he's, he certainly hasn't calmed down. And Harris catches the heels of Will Salmon, but Telford have possession inside the centre circle. Good quick move down the left with Valentine. They're flooding the penalty area now with Valentine beating Danny Wright to the ball, who's helping out in defence. Out wide to Leslie. Leslie's been quiet in this game so far and miss kicks this cross. It uh, falls fortunately for Will Salmon, who then helps it back in. Valentine back on it again. And now Riley kicks it over to the Wrexham bar. Well, there were some good things in that and some sloppy football as well. But it's a corner here for Telford in front of a player's tunnel away to our right-hand side. And a chance, Steve Humbles, to get an equaliser at just the right time. It is. Strong end to the half here. Telford uh, looking to uh, take this corner as quickly as they can. John Brown it is, I think, coming over uh, to take this one. Plenty of bodies forward as well. Telford just leaving Will Salmon and Ryan Valentine uh, back as they look to uh, flood bodies into that penalty John area. John Brown to take it in his last game in Telford colours. And it's a good ball curling away from goal. Trainer heads it goalwards. Falls to the feet of centre me. Back heels it. And it's blocked off by the defender on the line. It was going in. I think Maeve was beaten. John Brands cross again down the right is deflected. And there we go. A half time whistle. And it comes at just the right time for Exum. Telford going close there. A back heel from Keenan Centenary. Blocked off by the defender on its 
its way through to the Wrexham goal line. Side, but uh, here we go then. Second half coverage coming up here on 96 FM. Wrexham will kick us back underway. Telford kicking from our right to left, and Wrexham kicking towards their own supporters away to our right hand side. Here's Danny Wright early on, who's got 10 goals to his name. Whips in a low ball. Dan Preston clears it for Telford. The Bucks haven't cleared this properly though. Who's there to react quickest? Uh, certainly, Wrexham have come out the blocks quickly here. With Alfay picks out Ormrod, 20 yards away from goal. A good ball out to the left wing to Ashton. Wrexham on the charge here. And a strong challenge going in from Luke Hubbins. It's been a lively start to this second half, hasn't it? Really, lots of activity at both ends. The referee coming under fire from both teams as well. well it falls for centre mate, who shoots it's into the side netting. It was a foul actually against Jake Reed, who kicked the back leg of Chris Westwood, who was down on the floor. Jake Reed just says, nothing I can do about it. Have a word with the referee. So I think quite clearly Jake Reed acknowledges that he fouled the Wrexham defender. But I'll tell you what, that was a decent opportunity for sentiment. Looking for a second, which could potentially kill off Telford in this game. Still plenty of time to go. But Telford's confidence is fragile and they are lacking goals. Fancy Steve Humbles, it will be a, a big uphill challenge if they go 2-0 down. Telford have conceded a corner. Yeah, it's hard to conceive anyway that Telford could come back into it, I think, uh, if they do concede the second goal. Uh, if they can get back on level terms, who knows what could happen from then on. But yeah, they need to make sure they don't go 2 down. Corner's taken short. Harris back out. And now whipped in. And the header saved by Young. And a great save. Danny Wright with his header again. Ryan Valentine says it's come off Danny Wright. And it's a, it's a save by Ryan Young with his feet. It was a good ball into the far post. Danny Wright, who's one of the taller players for Wrexham, won his header, headed it downwards as well. Always difficult for a goalie. I mean, if he heads it towards your midriff or, your, you know, the hip area, you've got a chance. But when it's right down at your feet, you've got to get your, your feet in the way. And that's what Ryan Young did. Good pressure there by John Brown. And, and possibly because it is his last game, there's that extra motivation to do well. Yeah, and I mentioned before, I think that may have been a key factor in Andy Simpson's decision to to play him today because he's going to be so up for it and you can just see that can't you in the way that he's playing and Andy Sinton his manager has always had only just good things to say about him about his work ethic and uh, I'm sure he'll be sad to see him go here's Taylor wins it on the edge of the area good ball in but defender Westwood does really well to head it away he was right in front of his own goal facing his goalie and somehow heads it away from his own goal line Harrison Clark in that midfield are two experienced campaigners you know, neat on the ball, tidy, but solid in tackles as well. He opens up for Rustin here, who shoots, and a good save from close range by Ryan Young. It was an early ball forward, it opened up for Rustin, and Ryan Young pulling off a fine save away to our right. The Wrexham fans standing, watching on, urging the ball into the net to finish this game off. But it's not happening as of yet. They drew their last game against Tamworth and Telford pushing for an equaliser here with nine minutes plus added on time to go as the sun comes out again here in Wellington. Live on BBC Radio Shops, you have a home of AFC Telford United. Sends it long up towards Reed. Reed knocks it back to Rose. Forward to Taylor on Telford's left. But it's straight to the Wrexham right back Alpha. Now they have a chance to seal it here with Danny Wright. Wright shoots. Good save by Ryan Young with his feet again. Danny Wright could have got a hat trick today. But it is still Telford nil, Wrexham 1. They've been helped by the form of Danny Wright, certainly. Here's Rustin, next to the players' tunnel on his right-hand side. Gets in a good cross, and sees Levitch's header! of getting anything against Wrexham once again. Still, if you look back at the history between these two clubs, Telford have never won a game and never even drawn a game against Wrexham. And that trend continues this afternoon. 
yes, as the goalkeeper, surprise, surprise, skies his clearance out for a throw in, but uh, I think the referee will blow his whistle very shortly. We've played the four minutes now, and uh, yeah, well. Valentine through to Reed. Reed did score against Wrexham on Boxing Day, a late goal. His shot on this occasion drifting wide past uh, Maibi's right hand post.